Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Attractive Nuisance here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video on Hitman Blood Money. Yes, we did decide to go back and play some old Hitman Blood Money. Um, I've had a few recommendations on YouTube to watch some of these old gameplays, and I miss playing Hitman Blood Money. This is where it all started for me. So I wanted to hop on and just do kind of a, uh, just a quick walkthrough for fun on one of these missions. Um, obviously, as you can see, I'm unlocking them all right now because um, I'm playing on the PS5, so I don't have my original 360 where I you know, I played this. Uh, but today we're going to hop into Flatline. This was one of my favorite missions back in the day. Uh, basically, you infiltrate a, an insane asylum and take out a couple of targets and then save uh, save one of the uh, um, the agents. Um, one of the agents that's part of the agency here. It's good to have you back, 47. I'm glad to hear you're fully recovered. Your next assignment's in Northern California. Three mobsters have been checked into a rehab clinic for alcoholics. One of them plans to turn State's witness as soon as he's discharged. Our client wants to avoid that, but we don't know which of the three is the target. An undercover agent placed at the clinic to find out hasn't been heard from in a few days. The clinic will only discharge patients if they're sober or dead. The agent who's in there is apparently being kept drunk for unknown reasons. So you'll have to kill him to get him out, but we need him alive. We're giving you an experimental serum that'll give him the appearance of being dead, along with the antidote to bring him back once you're out. Something's very wrong with this Clinic 47. Keep your eyes open. All right, we're going to jump right into it here. This is always one of my favorite missions back in the day. I love this map. Uh, a lot of different ways of taking out your targets. Um, I'm just going to show you one here, and I am pretty rusty, so um, I did a couple of walkthroughs uh, basically before I uploaded this uh, live commentary um, just to make sure I've got everything kind of cleaned up for you guys. We're going to take this route here to go up and over. There's going to be a couple people to our right here. Um, usually if you kind of do this quickly like I did, you don't have to worry about them. We're going to kind of come out and around. We're going to encrypt our uh, sedation uh, syringe. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak in here, uh, take this guard's outfit, basically knock him out, and then hide his body. And when you do go back and play some of these older uh, Hitman games, if you've been used to, like, the Hitman 1, 2, and 3 series, um, just remember this game is clunky uh, compared to, basically, the newer games. I love the ragdoll physics, too, whenever <laughs> you grab a body on here. <laughs> but I'm going to take him out, and um, there's a garbage can out here. Um, one thing I'll also say, too, if you guys go back and play Hitman Blood Money, um, do not dispose of the body if you want, uh, basically, their outfit. Uh, take that first, because basically, once they're in there, you're not getting them back out. So, just just remember to do that. I'm going to take the uh, security tape, so nobody basically knows we're here. And then we're going to head in to uh, speak to Agent Smith. So, once I get past this door here, I'm actually not allowed to be over here. Um, in this outfit, so I'm going to end up taking one of the um, orderlies disguises here, actually, that guy right there. Um, unfortunately, he's got a buddy with him that's going to come in and kind of drag his feet around, grab his uh, um, grab his ice-cold cappuccino over here, complain about it, and then he's going to walk back across. Uh, basically, once he walks back across, we're going to sneak in here, um, sedate the orderly here, uh, put him in a uh, perfectly placed box back there, and then we'll go uh, talk to Agent Smith. So unfortunately, this is the uh, the fun waiting game. Yeah, here's his here's his buddy. And like I said, what's what's cool about these old games, and I mean even the new new Hitman's too. Um, there's just so many different ways you can take out targets. Um, I th believe I still have some uploads on my channel of uh, doing kind of more of a. I'm not. I don't want to really call them a speed run, but kind of, kind of like speed runs on some of these maps. But it's been so many years since I've done them. Um, it's going to take me a little while to get to, to knock the rust off. So that's kind of why we're here. All right. So he's going to head out. Uh, one thing to be careful or to be mindful of with this guy. This guy's got like eagle eye vision. Um, so uh, you want to make sure to be really careful here because he will see. 
you will see if you come out too far. This is kind of irritating too. The cutscene keeps will get in your way here. Okay, once he opens the door, you're good to go. And then uh, just to save some time, I'm going to suit him immediately, and then I'll drag his body. <laughs> God, I love the ragdoll physics. As you can see, a perfectly placed linen basket here that, of course, perfectly fits a dead body, or a sedated body, I should say. Okay, we'll close the lid. We'll grab uh, the key card, which we already have. We actually don't need that, but the cell key we do need. And this will basically let us get into Agent Smith's cell. Which is going to be that one right there. You. I should have known. Sedating me. Psychotropics. The things they've done. <sighs> Figures. They'd send you to clean up my mess. The this is the guy. Here. I'm getting you out of here. They'll never let me out alive. I know. So here we'll give him the experimental drug that'll make it look like he's oh. dead. Um, and then we'll basically uh, kind of revive him or save him right at the end of the mission. That'll be the last thing we do. Identity obtained. Executing rest of assignment. Splendid 47. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden shift in the delicate power balance of the New York families. Two low-level contracts just came in. In addition to your primary target, two members of the same group are currently staying at the facility. Terminating either will result in a $50,000 bonus per head. It's entirely up to you. Understood. Alright, so now we'll head up and we'll take out our three targets. Um, these will all be accidental kills as well. Let's see if I turn the correct way. I always go the wrong way coming out this door. Except for that hey, time. Buddy. So the first guy up here, he's cooking a, a big old batch of uh, Hormel chili. Um, so we're going to go in and we're going to basically rig up his, um, his oven. Basically to blow up once he comes up and starts stirring the pot. The uh, second guy, let me get my... Second guy, let me make sure I'm on the right staircase for this one here. Yep, so the second guy, he'll be in there. Actually, I think I was already in the right, correct room here. So we're going to place a bomb there. And basically, that's going to, we're going to blow that up, and that's going to fall on him, that chandelier. And then you'll see how we take out the third guy, which is pretty good here, too. Actually, we might have timed this out right to where... Uh, no, he hasn't come through here yet. But there's a lot of different ways you can take out the targets on here. That's what makes this map, or makes this game and map just a blast to play. Actually, what we can do. Shrink? I usually get my session about now. So that's a, another way you can take out the target. There um, is basically push him in the water. So actually, instead of uh, blowing up the thing on him, we'll just do it that way. So that actually worked out pretty good. This is one of my favorite kills on here too. There's accident two, and accident three will be happening here shortly. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over, we're going to grab our suit, um, go revive Smith after the explosion, and we're going to get the hell out of Dodge. So we'll just 
just go out the front door here. So I was actually going to do that explosion with the chandelier, but sometimes um, if you catch a good timing, you can just actually just shove him in the pool and basically he drowns. So that's kind of an easier, quicker way of getting uh, basically getting the kill on him. Mr. Hormel Chili should be blowing up here any second. Just wait for the doors to close. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. And escape right out the back door. As you can see there, three accidents. Uh, no kills, shots fired, hit, uh, no close combat, headshots, bodies found, witnesses, covers blown, and of course we weren't caught on camera because we of course grabbed the videotape. As you see there, just uh, a little over nine minutes and we got the silent assassin rating. So again, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of this nice little throwback video. And this is one thing I wanted to show you guys as well. If you didn't play the uh, the old Hitman uh, Blood Money series, I always love this, uh, this little twist that they put in here. Um, where basically they pull kind of a snippet of the uh, local newspaper and basically talk about... Uh, um, it'll usually say what your level is. So obviously since I completed Silent Assassin there, of course Silent Assassin wanted by police. Police suspect blood money is involved. And then, of course, you can read through here, and it kind of gives just kind of a synopsis of what happened. And then, of course, there's other, like, articles and stuff on the page. Um, there's a link there to move to Sunny Del Mar from Homelink Realty Agents. I just always thought this was such a cool little uh, thing that they put in uh, Hitman Blood Money. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this th quick little throwback. Um, definitely, I'll be uploading more um, Hitman Blood Money gameplay to go along with the Freelancer gameplay. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of the video, if you liked it. Um, if you guys have been playing any Hitman Blood Money recently, or if, you know, kind of what was your first Hitman you played. Um, it's always nice to hear that in the comments section. But uh, again, thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next video. The Attractive Nuisance is out.